Opposing Viewpoints Part 2 will show how to browse issues. In Opposing Viewpoints 1, the first video, we went over the hot topic, which is the feature topic, and we also went over the browse issue. This is a more abbreviated list of issues that you can browse. And we also typed our search term in the search box. In part two, we will show the more extended browse issues list. So to get to the extended browse issues list, click on this browse issues icon with the light bar. As you can see, this is a more extended list. So if you are having trouble trying to think of a topic to write about or to give a presentation on, this extended browse issues will be a great help on helping you and assisting you in finding a good topic. There could be, it could be a case where your topic is too broad. Browse issues, the extended list, will help you to narrow your topic down. You can also go to view all and click the down arrow and you can get the new updated news, business, economics, energy, environmentalism, family issues, and so on and so forth. And they're even linked to the national debate topic. So for whatever year, maybe it was the national debate topic was offshore drilling or other things, things concerning the military and 9-11 and things like that you can select the national debate topic. And as you can see, there are numerous topics within the browse issue. So we're going to select one to do a demonstration. I'm going to select fake news on social media. This is a rather hot topic. So let's select fake news on social media. And this first one, this is just an overview. And if you want to read the overview, click Read More. And this is the article of the overview. And you can uh, download it. You can email it to yourself. You can send it to your Google Drive. You can also cite it. So let's click on the site to get the citation information. This is an MLA 8th edition citation style, APA 6th edition, Chicago 7th edition, so whatever citation style that you, you, you will need, you will use, you just select the style and it shows you how it's cited. And of course, you can send it to yourself, you can download it, and you can print. So this is, this is an overview article. Say, for instance, you were you need needed a uh, featured viewpoints, other viewpoints. Let's select featured viewpoints. These are the viewpoints here. So we'll just click on the first one. And as you can see, you will see the citation information up top, who wrote it, the date. The source where it came from, even though how many words the article is. And of course, the citation information and all of that sent to download, print are all up top. You can also get journal articles. And these are the journal articles. So as it was as it was mentioned in part one you can select the peer-reviewed journals so if you must your professor requires you to use peer-reviewed articles only make sure to check the peer-reviewed journal box so only peer-reviewed articles will come up and as you can see the peer-reviewed is checked so they should all be peer-reviewed So now let's go back to the Browse Issues main page. And as you can see, there are numerous topics 
that you can select. So this is how the browse issues work in a those posing viewpoints.